Hello everyone, this is Mark with MHGAlerts.com. Today is May 18th, 2013. This is a website update, especially for those folks who love to track hurricanes with the best radars. This one's for my dad as well. So hopefully my dad is uh, watching this and checks this out because this is the best uh, radar uh, loops that I have found and posted them right here on MHGAlerts.com. So if you look at the first page, it's, it's fairly easy to look at. You got your menu up on the top, the home page, the radars, and of course the earthquakes. Right now we're on condition green because there is no hurricane threat right now to any landfall for the United States, Gulf of Mexico, or the Caribbean Sea. And of course the Eastern Pacific is what I watch as well. So for those of you who know the color alerts are down below. We're going to talk about that also for just a moment so those of you who will know what that is before we go into the site. This is the color alerts down below it says color condition green means we are all clear from tropical hur or hurricane threat condition blue means the storm has been upgraded to tropical storm strength and has a path that would bring into the United States Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean Sea condition red means tropical storm has been upgraded to hurricane status and is on a path to the United States Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea so it's very simple to read now, I might not be able to update the site right away, but I'm pretty sure I will because hurricanes don't take that, uh, don't come right away. It takes uh, some time. Now, on the left hand side, you'll see that it says, Welcome to MHT Alerts Hurricane Tracking Live Updates 24 7. The reason it says 24 7 is because these are live images from the JTWC and the National Hurricane Center. So, these images you see here on the, for the other side of the world will update live and it will show you the latest updates especially here with these uh, maps. This is the Eastern Pacific map from the National Hurricane Center, updated live constantly. The only thing you don't see is if you hover over it, it'll actually give you the, uh, the status of what's happening in the area. So you can check that out. I'll try to post the status information down below as it's live as best I can uh, during the hurricane season. So taking a look at the Atlantic, this is the Atlantic map live. Now, what I mean by live is anytime that there's a, uh, an update, you'll see that this will go from yellow to orange to red, and then, of course, it'll update to a tropical storm or hurricane. It'll update live here. Of course, that means you don't have to go directly to the National Hurricane Center site, but it is coming through the National Hurricane Center site. So it's very, very nice. Now, though, what I really want to show you guys is the radars. All you got to do is click on the radars in the top middle there. And it may take some time to load for you if you got slow internet. Of course, you'll see mine just pop right on up. And as you see, the the sides of this is also updated to condition green, all clear. Anytime there's a threat, it'll also change the condition green, blue, or red. So that's uh, also a good thing. So let's start with the first radar. You got the uh, East Pacific ABN color imagery loop. This is directly from NOAA. This is uh, imagery loop and it's live, so you see you uh, have the options here to zoom in. You have the options to change the speed, rocket, stop it, whatever you want to do. Second one is my favorite uh, radar. It's a color enhanced East Pacific infrared, and this is a very good radar for the Eastern Pacific and part of the United States, watching the hurricanes move on through or tropical storms. This is a tropical Pacific AVN imagery loop. This is from Hawaii and of course near the Eastern Pacific you'll see this. This is one of the best maps out there to watch Hawaii. So we'll watch them too as well. The Western U.S. AVN color imagery loop. This is the Western United States I'm watching California folks down in Baja California and, and Mexico uh, right into this little area right here where it stops. So we'll be watching that mainly for the waters in the Eastern Pacific. Now going down we have the Northeast Pacific radar imagery loop. This is AVN and of course you'll see this is um, storms coming in and maybe some uh, storm activity coming through for places such as Alaska things like that and the next map is one of my favorite maps here. This is a flash embedded map and you'll see the eastern Pacific here it shows a lot of uh, cloud up and of course you can see the storms moving on into Mexico. That's a good way to track storms because I'm in San Antonio, Texas and to see those stores move on in, you know, you can pretty much track them for the next week or two. So you got a lot of options here to stop, uh, rewind forward, and all that stuff with this particular uh, radar loop. 
Uh, going down a little further, you'll see now we're going into, and, and it's up, it's updated for the Eastern Pacific on the top and the Atlantic on the bottom. So you'll see this is the Caribbean ABN color infrared loop. This is again live from the National Working Center. Some of these have scrolls, so you can scroll down and actually control the, the knobs. And I'm going to try to take that away, but I think that's actually pretty good to leave there for now. So going down further, you'll see the Western Atlantic ABN. This one is a little different. As you see, you go back up. This one shows a little more wider range of the Atlantic and as well as the Caribbean. And this one right here shows pretty much the Gulf of Mexico. And let's go ahead and bring that up here. I'm sorry. This is the Western Atlantic is what it's saying. And, of course, the Gulf of Mexico. So that's another good map to look at. And then the, the next one is the Central Atlantic ABN Color Infrared Loop. So again, guys, you got all these radars to track storms here on MHTAlerts.com, and I'll be adding more radars as we go on. And again, this is probably the best way to track storms, and the best way to get back to the home page is by clicking on this home button, and it'll take you to the home page where you can actually see the video, uh, latest video of what has been updated. And of course, earthquakes. Right now, I haven't updated it, but if you click on it, you see we're still on condition red, and I like the fact that it's separated from earthquakes, and hurricanes. Condition red, we were watching Yellowstone, the Ring of Fire, until 525, 2013, which we're still on alert for that. So back to the home page, you've got the MHTAlerts.com, live news updated. Now this little part, part right here where it says latest news, uh, I'm going to probably put a link in there just to update the uh, date and time. Uh, right now, I manually update the date and time, of course, there. So it, it's not updated as right now. But again, lots of work to do before June 1st, and I'll continue to update you and post you. Uh, post information on any tropical storm or hurricanes that may form before hurricane season. So I wanted to get this up and going right away. So once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. I appreciate you, you know, listening to me ramble about the new site and uh, watching the video for seven minutes and seven seconds. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Stay alert, be cool, and keep a lookout for the next couple of months on these hurricanes. Have a nice day.